All right, Banjo Ben here again. And this lesson is for my buddy Christoph in Germany. Um, we're going to be covering pick direction technique, and we're going to be covering uh, the first break to Brian Sutton's instrumental called Decision at Glady Fork, which is a really tough one, but a really cool one. It's, uh, I think I heard Brian describe it as um, a bunch of Tony Rice licks just put back to back. Uh, of course, it's, it's more than that. It's got a great melody to it and just really fun to play. And the recording is just super fast. Very impressive, um, as Brian's stuff always is. So I'm going to uh, go over a couple things with you. First thing I want to do is kind of give you an illustration of how to figure out when you're playing a song, a flat picking song guitar, how to figure out um, which notes to use a downstroke on and which to use an upstroke. Okay, most all bluegrass instrumentals are in 4-4 uh, four, four time, which means that there's four beats to a measure. Okay, whenever you're really going, most of, most of the time you're playing eighth notes. Okay, so that means uh, it takes two eighth notes to make one beat. So if you have four beats per measure, you're playing eight eighth notes per measure, okay? So your quarter notes in a uh, four, four beat measure are gonna be represented by my right hand, okay? So we're gonna count one through four because it's a four beat measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But if you're playing eighth notes, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's a little example. One, two, oh, that didn't work. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. And so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one measure. Eight notes, eight eighth notes. Okay? Stay with me here. It's kind of, it gets kind of complicated. Shouldn't be, but I'm probably making it complicated. On all of our right hand notes, we're going to play a downstroke. Those are on the down beats. On all my left hand notes, we're going to play an upstroke. Those are on the up beats. So we have one and two and three and four and. Okay, so if we can just determine when, we try, when we're trying to learn these songs or if we're listening to a song, if we can determine if the notes on the down beat or the up beat, we'll know which pick stroke to use. Okay, so. It's beginning to blackberry blossom. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay? So on all the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, those are all downstrokes. Watch. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, but all our upbeats are up strokes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay? Now, if we throw a hammer on or a pull off into that melody, we've got to be really careful. We have to make sure that that hammer on or that pull off represents a pick stroke. So that whenever you do a hammer on or pull off, you have to skip the pick stroke that that took the place of. Okay? So let's just do one here. See what I did there? I pulled off. Okay, so I have down, up, down, up, down, up, up. Okay, because that pull off is going to take the place of my down stroke. So, one and two and, so we have to keep it straight, okay? There we have three eighth notes in a row, and I'm hammering on to that second fret. So I'm going to play like that, I played an upstroke. Okay, so now as we do Brian Sutton's uh, Decision at Glady Fork, I'm going to play the first break for you. We are going to just go through that really slowly. I'm not here to show you the licks that, that are in the song, but what I am going to do is uh, just show you my right hand really slow so that 
Christoph, hopefully you can see see what's going on here. And uh, let me scoot over just a little bit. This is a very impromptu lesson, so it's not more organized. But uh, this song is normally played extremely fast. And that's usually the speed to it. I'm not gonna play it that fast today. I probably can't make it through the whole thing that fast. But I'm just gonna, it starts off, you know, on a downstroke. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. So that means we're gonna start off on a downstroke on the first note. So what do we do right there? Down, up, hammer. Okay, so that hammer on our second fret is gonna take the place of our next downstroke because we had down, up, down. So now for our uh, D string, we're gonna do another up. So. Okay, then once we got to this third fret, that F note, that's a quarter note and it was a downstroke. So the quarter note also takes the place of our upstroke. So. Right there. Okay, I did down, hammer, down. Okay, now I'm just gonna play through the whole break, the A and the B section, very slowly, just so you can watch me. Okay, here's the B section. Watch really close because there's tons of hammer-ons and pull-offs. We're going to just really try to keep our pick strokes correct. together okay so that it'll be smooth it's that B part up to speed okay if those pick strokes aren't the same and you're not getting those hammer-ons and pull-offs that he does then it's not gonna sound right okay it's a tough song but good luck with it and um, if I can help you some more just uh, write me and uh, and let me know. I uh, hope this helped you out, Christoph.